Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how we can easily download and install the SQL Server Express Edition, which is free and open source. So SQL Server 2022 released. We will install the same for the Express Edition. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type Microsoft SQL Server and press enter. On pressing enter, you can see it is directly showing the Microsoft website because SQL Server is owned by Microsoft. So click here. Now the official website is visible. Click on downloads. On clicking downloads, go below. Here in the two versions are visible for SQL Server 2022. The developer and express. Okay. So I'll be going for the Express because it is a free edition. Okay, it is basically for production environment. This is for non-production environment. So I'll be going for the following Express edition. Click on download now. The download started. The installer will download. Here it is 4 MB only. Double click on it to install. Minimize. Now the setup will begin. Now we will select the installation type, basic custom and download media. This will allow you to download the files so that you can install them later. This is for custom. That means uh, what we are installing will be shown first. And this is for basic. Since we are going for beginner installation, so I'll be going for the basic step. After clicking the license terms is visible. Click on accept. Now the installation location is visible, it will get installed in the program files, which is fine. You can change the location from here, but I'll keep the default. 278 MB it will take only, click on install. Now it will download the package and install it. Now the installation started. So guys, now you can see the installation completed. Same is written here. The first one is the connection string. This is uh, used to connect uh, SQL with other languages, with programming languages. Here is the log folder. So I hope you know what is the log folder. Here in uh, the report regarding starting of SQL as well as errors will get reported here. This is the installation media folder. This is the resource folder. So we can directly click on connect now here. If the following is visible, one row is effective, that means it is successfully installed. Minimize. Now it is allowing us to click on install SSMS. SSMS is basically SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so this is like the UI version of SQL, which makes it uh, easier for you to work around SQL Server. So we will install this also. What you need to do is just click on install SSMS. This is also owned by Microsoft. You can see the link of the Microsoft. So here is the download link visible, download SSMS, the current one, click on it. So it will download 621 MB. So it is downloading. So it got downloaded the exe file, double click on it to install, minimize. So guys, the setup started, uh, I'll just minimize this. So the setup for SQL Server Management Studio is visible, it will get installed here. You can change the location from here, but keep the default, which is fine. Click install. Now it will load the packages and install. Guys, you can see we have successfully installed the Management Studio also. Click on close. Now let us open it, go to start, type SQL, SQL Server Management and here it is, the Madman Studio 19 is visible, click on open. Now you can see the SQL Server Madman Studio opened up, you can directly click on connect here, click connect. 
it opened up okay now the database section is visible uh, let us quickly create a database go to new query and click on it okay now you can change it to let's say 200 percent so that it's visible now i'll type a command sql command create database to create a database and let's say the database name is amitdb so i added the same this is uh, the command create database and i added the database name you can add any name okay i'll just select it and click on execute and this will create our first database commands completed successfully now i'll click on refresh and uh, under this you can see the database is visible you can directly click tables from here if you want to learn how to create uh, tables and perform all the operations you can refer our complete sql server tutorial the link we have mentioned in the description and pinned comment thank you for watching the video